Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Schwartz here. In this video, we're gonna talk about creating a debugger log from Apex code. Um, so there's a couple of different ways you can create debugger logs. So first of all, you can do it straight from, if you come to setup and go to debug log, you can create one from here. Um, but another way to do it is if you go to debug here inside of the dev console, you can, uh, just need to think what it is now change log levels I think click on that little button there yeah that's how you do it <laughs> all right so as you can see um, we've got a few debugs here that we've done already so I'm gonna add a new one and first thing that we're gonna need is the user user ID so let's go to setup quick and oh, actually I think if we search for my current user do, 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 do. all right so i've got this user here i'm just going to use that id that i've got at the top take that paste that in there hit save all right so the first thing we need is a start date and time so at the moment it's quarter to one so what i'll do is i'll just put in one uh oh sorry quarter to two so 1 p.m expiration date it expiration time is that, that's fine. Um, log type, we'll just leave that as that. Um, for the debug level, let's just go add. So you can create a new debug level if you wanted to. I'm just gonna use this finest one that I've got. This will sort of give me uh, most of the information because most of this is fine or finer already. So hit done and that is pretty much it I think. So now if we hit done here, and you wanted to check it out. Uh, let's go to our debug logs in setup, hit re refresh, and cool. As you can see, we've got our latest debug there that's just been created. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm just trying to work out why the time is so weird. Oh, sorry, it's not this one, it is this one here. Yeah, because that's in March anyway. So yeah, it's this one right here. So yeah. So next step would be, now that we've got that, um, basically any changes that I made here, because this is on my own user, like let's say for example, I went in here and let's say put in a new home phone number of that, go back to my debug log, refresh, you can see that something happened. So this is a nice way to, like if you want to, if you've got an integration user or some APIs or stuff like that that's happening, um, you can debug on the API user and then click view or download it and then track um, the changes that's been made. Uh, yeah, so if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.